Hi, in this question we have a cylinder having diameter D equals to 25 millimeter which is equals to 25 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter and the length of the cylinder that is L is given as 300 millimeter which is equals to 300 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter. Also, due to gravity, we have velocity inside the cylinder equals to 0 0.1 meter per second and temperature T is given as 38 degree Celsius. Relative density that is rho is given as 7.85 gram per centimeter cube which can also be written as 7.85 into 10 raised to power 3 kilogram per meter cube. The value of viscosity that is mu is given as 0 0.3 pascal second and they are asking us to calculate the clearance between the tube and the cylinder. So now first of all we know that Force is equal to weight which is given as mg where m is mass and g is acceleration due to gravity. Also mass m is equal to rho into v where rho is the density and v is volume and volume v for a cylinder is given as pi by 4 d square into l. So if we put both these values in this F equation, we get the value for force equals to rho pi by 4 d square L into G. We know that shear stress is given as tau equals to mu V divided by Y where nu is the viscosity, V is velocity and Y is the required clearance between the tube and the cylinder. And also shear stress is equal to F upon A where F is force and A is the surface area. So the surface area of cylinder is given as pi D into L. So now if we equate both the expressions we will have F upon A equals to mu V divided by Y. So now if we write this expression in terms of Y, so we'll have Y equals to mu V A divided by F. So we have the value for F and A. So we'll just substitute these values. So we'll have Y equals to mu V Area is pi dl and force is rho pi by 4 d square lg. So on solving this expression, we have the value for y equals to 4 nu v divided by rho dg. So we have the value for viscosity, velocity, density, distance that is length and g that is acceleration due to gravity. So, we will just put the values. So, y will be equals to 4 into 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.1 divided by 7.85 into 10 raised to power 3 into 25 into 10 raised to power minus 3 into 9.8. So, on solving this, we get the value for y equals to 6.23 into 10 raised to power minus 5 meter. So this is the required clearance length between the tube and the cylinder. Thank you.